Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna play with some makeup. There's a couple products that I wanted to try, which is this one size um, concealer, butter silk concealer corrector. Okay, um, there's this eyeshadow from Shantikai. I've had this and I've only tried it a few times and I loved it. So I was like, why not put it in a video? And then just probably a couple other products that I just want to play with. So if you're interested, grab some coffee, grab your makeup and we can kind of get ready together or just relax and clean your dishes. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'm going to start with my base and I'm gonna prime my skin. I'm gonna use my, tar my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. And then this Chanel Le Beige, uh, illuminating fluid illuminating i use this on the high points of my cheekbones it's pretty it's not super intense but i do enjoy it it's so expensive i probably wouldn't repurchase it but i do enjoy it i'm using the tarte primer i just love this stuff i love that it kind of smooths out my pores and the foundation goes on top of it really really well and it also keeps this area just a little bit less oily um i have more of a dry to normal skin so there's parts that feel a little dry but overall it's it's okay now it's summer so it feels hot and then i take the chanel illuminator take very little like that because it's pretty intense and it's very watery and just add a little bit to my cheekbones i don't want to over blend it into my skin i just want to give a little bit of light there so when foundation goes on top of it it looks really pretty like that it kind of just looks glowy i'm kind of trying to decide on what foundation i want to wear i kind of want to put the chanel one on but i don't know how full coverage this one size is and if it's this is super full coverage with this one that has no coverage it may look weird let's see what it says about this it just says that it's buildable coverage so i want to say it's probably medium and the more you build it up it's gonna be fuller I don't know. I'm just gonna play it safe and use my Armani foundation. I have the shade six and 4.5 here. Six is pretty olive tone, as you can see compared to this one. This is more of a neutral, it says, but I feel like it leans a little peachy. So I'm just gonna combine these. This foundation has been in my collection for a very long time. It's in my makeup kit, and I really think I'll forever have this foundation. I'm gonna add a little bit. I think if you're a makeup artist, having this foundation in your collection is definitely something that you should think about. I think it's my go-to, absolutely. I feel like the shade six, it's a really good staple in anybody's makeup kit, just because it has such an olive undertone. Um, not many foundations have it quite that intense, and I mix that with almost every foundation that I have. So I have the Sonia G um, Jumbo Base. This is the one that has synthetic through it. I had I initially purchased two and I love them so much so I got this one as well and I love it so much it is so easy to use it's so easy to clean and just overall it's just beautiful I love it so much All right, let's try this concealer. This is in medium 1N. Uh, hopefully it's a decent match. I thought I thought it would match pretty well. I try to get neutral undertones for concealers. I never get warm. Um, even sometimes I'll get peachy undertones. Okay, so it has a nice applicator and that's the swatch. I think it's gonna work. Let's see. It doesn't have a great stopper, so quite a lot of product gets on this. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna work. Oh, 
I haven't seen many reviews on this. I don't like watching reviews before I review products. I don't want to inf be influenced. But I know this has been out for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really try anything from the one size beauty. I do feel like this concealer is pretty matte. It sets really quickly. Um, it did blend in nicely, but it is pretty matte. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of matte concealers, but we'll see how it looks right here under the eyes, which is my prob problem zone. Uh, probably with everybody. Everybody has like all those lines under the eyes. So I left it on for just a little bit because my daughter came in and she needed help and it's already set like it's kind of hard to spread it if you can see it's not spreading that easily um because it's already set so that tells me that it's gonna dry quickly and it's probably gonna be pretty matte honestly i'm not loving the way that looks under my eyes right now i think it looks a bit textury and i just want to <laughs> splash some water under there uh, it hasn't gotten in my lines well yeah it's just starting to get into my lines now um this is just too drying for me uh i could tell right when i was applying it that it's gonna be more on the matte side and i don't i don't love that uh, i'm sure it's gonna stay better um and hopefully throughout the day my oils will come through but on initial application i'm not i'm not loving this so the coverage is good. I want to say it's more than medium. I feel like you could definitely have a full coverage out of this. It looks from far away kind of perfected, but up close, I can see a bit too much texture. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then come back and see how that looks. Let's powder one side and see how it compares. I'm going to take my closest powder um, and just powder this side and see if kind of helps or it just makes it even worse even more cakey yeah i'm not loving the powder on top of that either i think it just makes it look even more dry um and i wouldn't say perfected it i actually prefer the one that doesn't have a powder but i won't powder the other side i'm just gonna leave it and see how it looks at the end moving on to contouring i will take the new charlotte tilbury nude gasm face palette so what i've been doing um it's combining both of these and i think that gives me a nice contour shade i did a full review on this one and i can link it down below but uh, initially i just felt like it looked too cool tone overall because i used it as a bronzer but this is really pretty just for contour and if i combine the colors it works well And I will also take these on my eyes and just contour a little bit my eye because all I'm going to do is add one shade, which is the Chantecai color. So this is going to act as my transition. I'm going to take the same brush and the lighter contour and contour my nose. I think the lighter contour is really good for like lip contouring, nose contouring because it's not too intense and it blends in really nicely and the tone is perfect. For the blush, I think I'm going to use a different one. This one's just a little bit too peachy and this is pretty purpley. So I'm going to find a different blush. I think I'm going to take the nude Venus from Pat McGrath. I really, really enjoy her blushes, mostly the lighter ones. With my skin tone they have such a pretty finish on the skin
what a pretty blush i i really really enjoy that color and the desert orchid those are my two favorite colors for a highlighter i'm gonna go back to the charlotte tilbury palette and just take that highlighter right there because i really really enjoy it and pop it on my cheeks i enjoy the formula a lot of this highlighter it's a very very smoothing I was very tempted to buy the Dior new highlighter but after I I've played with this one I just don't I don't feel the need to purchase that one because this is so so smooth and kind of reminds me a little bit of that I think that one's a little bit more glittery but the effect is beautiful on the skin and I I think this is enough Okay, I'm gonna spray my face, do my brows, and be right back. I filled in my brows with the Gucci brow product, and then I put a little bit of the bronzer from Kosas. This is in medium, very little, just to warm things up a little bit. And I sprayed my face with my MAC Fix Plus, and that kind of helped a little bit. Everything just look less cakey but still not loving the concealer um anyway moving on to the eyeshadow this is from shantikai this is mermaid eye color and this is in starfish i have used this before i am loving it so much it's such a good one and done shadow so i take a synthetic brush this is just from real techniques and put it on my brush then i just start spreading it all over the lid and at the end, I will go in with my finger to intensify wherever I want this color to be more intense. This color is so beautiful. It kind of looks like you have multiple colors on your eyes, even though it's just one eyeshadow. And it is so easy to blend. It lasts absolutely all day, at least for me and i love it it's such a good one and done shadow and the color is so pretty it's not too purple it's not too cool tone it's just it's just beautiful so i kind of just spread it everywhere kind of messy and then um, I take on a smaller brush and start packing it here to give it a little bit more intensity and then also under my eye. I like this to be more of a messy look overall, um, not too perfected. I also take it a lot under my eyes, make it really smoky. Um, but once you put mascara, I feel like it blends in. It doesn't look like somebody beat you up. And then I will take my finger and add even more to my lid to amplify it. Next, I'm going to take just a clean, fluffy brush and I just want to clean this edge a little bit i don't want it as perfected and round i just want to feather it out a little bit i will add a little bit of a liner this is from charlotte tilbury like the nudes collection this is the brown side and just add a very messy liner just to define the eye a little bit. So this is with a smudge liner and this is without and I just think it it just contours the eye a little bit. And most of the time I don't want this harsh line. I just want some definition so I don't want to put black around my eye. I think it just it's just too much unless I'm going for that like eye look, like the cat eye look. Next, I'm going to use my mascara, my new Ilia Volumizing Mascara. It's so good. I really enjoy it. Uh, I would say it's on par with the Bite Beauty. I'm not sure which one I would repurchase next. 
but they're both really good and I think I just need to go through this bottle and see which one I like best but so far they are right there so I'm gonna curl my lashes put this on and be right back all right on my lips I'm going to put the Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner with the pillow talk I like that the pillow talk has a little bit of pink and it's not quite so brown to match the eyes so usually I do like a more brown like the new cat walking is that the name uh, the new lipstick is my all-time go-to favorite lipstick at the moment but i felt like that may be a little bit too brown and having something with a little bit of a pink undertone will work a little bit better with the eyes so i'm gonna put this on All right, and this is the final look. Um, final thoughts. Concealer, not really liking it. It still feels kind of cakey. If I look up close, I can kind of see it separating under my eyes. So that's a no for me. I may try it one more time, give it one more chance, but overall, I kind of know the type of concealers that I like, and this is not it. Um, eyeshadow, I'm loving it. It just has so much dimension without it being glittery um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the aether shadows just a little bit that like super smooth but dimensional eyeshadow i'm really enjoying it at least in person it looks really really beautiful um what else this i really enjoy it i've kind of learned how to use the contours for me and my skin tone it really helps if i mix them and actually i've been using it this every single day since it came out and that is all for today i hope you guys enjoy this video hopefully it was a little bit helpful um please subscribe down below if you didn't also everything that i have on my face it will be linked in the description box um if you are interested in any of the products i would appreciate if you use that link it's no extra charge for you it just helps me um just be able to buy more makeup to review for you guys so appreciate it and that's about it i will see you guys in my next video